Welcome to the Balagaga News Network. Today we have a few stories, I guess. <laughs> Rainworld's former publisher, Adult Swim Games, is apparently going to retire all their games on the Steam and console stores. This was a choice from Adult Swim's owner, Warner Brothers. I'm honestly not sure why this decision went through. It's actually really dumb. I guess it's the powers that be. Now, luckily, since Rainworld is owned by Akupara Games now and not Adult Swim Games, Rainworld will be fine, as confirmed by the official video quote Twitter. Other games published by Adult Swim Games, however, will not be fine. The most well-known of these games is Duck Game, which is a cute little duck fighting game thing with, like, high skill ceiling. Duck Game's developer, Landon Podbielski, sorry if I butchered that, made this statement on Twitter, I mean X. <laughs> I haven't got any word about Duck Game being delisted yet, but I'm sure it's coming. Feeling sick and dizzy about it and don't know what to say. So many good people in games, sad face. This is a very icky bureaucratic situation. I don't think these games will be going for good, as Warner Brothers are allegedly allowing developers to republish, but without support from Adult Swim games and without reviews and wishlists, according to this Rock Paper Shotgun article. So if you want a game from the Adult Swim games publisher catalog, I don't think rushing to buy them is a good idea, as I feel these games will probably self-publish or be available on different platforms like itch.io. Luckily, Rainworld already changed to Akapara Games in the past due to copyright issues with Adult Swim Games, so they dodged a massive bullet with this one. It does suck for all the other indie games involved. I do hope they make it out of the situation with their games still available somewhere. Next news story is Ludio. Ludio is a clipping software where you can replay clips and it was going to be added to Rainworld, but people did digging into Ludio's official LinkedIn profile and they found out that the Ludio company was incredibly Zionist with lots of Israel propaganda. If you didn't know, Zionism is where someone or something is patriotic towards Israel. This is a really nasty thing, as Israel is currently declaring war on Palestine. I know I'm a Rainworld YouTuber talking about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But basically, Israel is being very hostile towards the residents of the Gaza Strip, not seeming to care if they're innocent civilians or a potential combatant. What Hamas did to Israel was horrific, but shelling hospitals is not a good response. Anyway, sorry about speaking too much about the war. I hope everyone stays safe, and I still can't believe there's wars happening in 2024 of all times. Anyway, Rainworld partnering with Zionist Software is a frankly terrible look for the game, and the Rainworld community lost their shit. The backlash was so bad that official Discord server had to shut down for 48 hours, with some of the mods receiving death threats, even though they had nothing to do with this situation. Luckily, Akopara Games controlled the situation very quickly and got in contact with Ludio, and the collaboration was called off. For context, Ludio and Akopara started talking about a year ago, which was before Israel declared war on Palestine, so Akopara didn't knowingly collaborate with a Zionist. This is a genuinely terrible situation, but I'm glad it got resolved quickly and easily. Although some Rainworld fans were being very abusive towards Video Cult, the Discord mods, and Akopara Games which is something I'm kind of disappointed in. Anyway, let's move on to some more happy news. There's a fun project called Rainworld MC, which is trying to recreate the Rainworld map in Minecraft. This is a really cool project, as creating Rainworld, a 2D game, in a 3D space is definitely really hard, but very interesting. There also seems to be a Minecraft mod being developed besides this project that adds Rainworld flora and fauna to the game. I can't wait to attack garbage worms in Minecraft, it's gonna be epic. The project is definitely ambitious, but it seems there's a good amount of progress and I do wish the developers succeed. I'll leave a link to the Discord in the description below, so you can see all the cool project updates, or even join the dev team yourself. I'm currently working on a big video that is pretty silly, but should be a lot of fun to make. Hopefully I get it out soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye!